Hello guys, my name is Kiki and we have to talk. I might have made a huge mistake. If you saw my last video, then you saw that I managed to fix the GPU. And no, I paid over 370 euro or over 400 dollar for three GPUs. Let's see how many I can fix from these and if I can make any money or I just made a huge mistake. So let's get started. So at first, let's see what do we have. All three are 3060 Ti's. So as you can tell, one of them is a Founder Edition 3060 Ti. It's in a pretty decent condition. A small scratch here. A little bit here, but other than them, other than that, nothing. I cannot see anything on this. And by the way, I know nothing about these cards. Really, zero information. The next one is a is an MSI Ventus 3X 3060 Ti. Let's open the box quickly. There is even the PCI Express cover on it. And this is also in a quite decent cover. It looks like it was never opened before, which is a huge plus. This is, this is pretty decent. There are zero scratches on it. This is a nice one. Maybe I will start with this one. And let's see the third one. This is an Asus Tough Gaming 3060 Ti. This is also a nice card. Again, I cannot really see any scratches here. A little bit of paint is missing. And as you can tell, the label is... I don't know, maybe it was washed, washed thoroughly and... It was discolored or something like this. But it looks like this one also was never opened before, if this is the original factory one, I don't know, honestly speaking. But other than that, this is also a nice one, a nice, in a nice condition. There's only one single scratch here. And that's it. Okay, so let's just, let's get started. I mean, maybe start with this one then, if it's already here in, in front of me. Okay, so we will start with this one. As, as I told, I know nothing from these cards. So let's look around if we can see any cracks, for example, here on the PCI Express port because these are quite heavy cards. I don't see anything here. Neither on this side. That's that's a huge plus, I would say. Let's see the HDMI and display ports. They also seems to be fine. So let's do some measurements at first because before I take it apart. I can see a few coils here that I can reach from outside. I can measure on the PCI Express port. There is also an inductor here, maybe for packs. Another one here. So let's do some measurements. So let's look for shorts here on this port. If I remember correctly, these three pins should be plus 10 volt and the rest are ground. And as you can tell, there are no shorts. Let's measure in resistance mode. No short, that's good. Let's measure here this coil, maybe from the PAX coil. Seven point six ohm. This may be fine. This kilo ohms. It's fine. Let's measure the first three pin. I have the first three pin. So we have fifteen kilo ohm, twelve volt, three point three, ten kilo ohm. That's good. I have here an inductor. 
and measure mega ohms here. Yes, it's good. Can I measure here this coil? Kilo ohms here. So this all looks fine. So it looks like we do not have any short on these pins. But I will take it apart anyway. I do not want to risk it to, to plug it in. Okay, so I took it apart. The thermo paste is definitely dry, extremely dry. But there is a pretty decent cooling on this card, as you can tell. Let's see what, what kind of memory do we have. And we have Samsung. That's great. These are not supposed to fail that often. Like Hynix, case of certain X005 Hynix memories, you have to replace all of them because they will fail one after the other. Okay, so I will remove also this plate here. I can definitely see some discoloration here. It is on the other side, and also on this side. I think these are the memory inductors, and maybe these are the memory controllers then. So this is suspic suspicious to me. And there is also some discoloration here in this area. So let's do the measurements. So this inductor here, six kilo ohms, the 12 volt, 13K is fine. This resistor is fine. It's 180 ohm. This is maybe 1.8 volt. I'm not sure. I will check. Uh, six, 600 kilo ohms. So it's, it's most probably fine. I think this is 1.8 volt. And this is memory, I assume. It's 22 ohms. This is quite normal for Samsung, as far as I know. And 22 the same on the other one. We have mega ohms here, this may be 12 or 5 volt, I don't know, I have to check. For sure for the core there will be extremely low, so you cannot really measure these. And they are all the same. Yes, and I have some these backs. Yeah. We do not have any other power rails. I think it's safe to connect it at first to this tester. The idea of this tester is coming from Tony from Northwest Repair. I can definitely recommend. If you do not know his YouTube channel, I will put a link to his YouTube channel before. He is, I would say, one of the best GPU repair technician on YouTube. So definitely check him out. This is his amazing uh, tester. Basically, with the help of this, you can connect up the PCI Expert person, also the Power 12 volt, and uh, you can check, turn on and off, and measure each and every. Uh, voltages on the power rails. So it's it's an amazing device. So I will connect it up and let's do the measurements. As soon as I turn it on, it will power up the card. You will also be able to see the current. And I will just turn on and off and do all the measurements, all the voltage measurements. It's throwing 1.3 amps. Yeah, we have definitely 12 volt here. Okay, we have 1.35 on memory, and one of them. 
I'm paying 35 on the other one, it's fine. Let's see this one. I'm paying paid volt, yes. And let's see packs, because if we have packs, we have everything. Yeah, we do have packs. And we have roughly a 1.6 ohm power draw, which looks okay. So I think we are absolutely safe to, to put this into a PC and uh, let's power it up. Hopefully we only have some memory issues. Maybe on these two memories where I can see the discoloration or something like this, or maybe here close to the PC Express port. Let's see. So I will put it into the PC and I will be back. Okay, so I have put the card in inside my PC. I have my thumb, USB thumb drive here with mats installed on it. So let's power it on and let's see if we have display. We have RGB. It's a good sign already. Do we have picture? Yes, we do have picture. We do have picture, that's good. So now I will run mats. So we have a pass and we have zero errors. And that sounds good. So what I will do now, I will boot into into Windows, if it works, if it boots. Let's see if, it, if it's catching on the drivers. And afterwards, I will do some firmware and some and other testing. So, let's power it off. I remove my USB time drive and let's turn it on. Let's see if it boots to Windows now. Okay, so it's on a low resolution. Let's see if it's picking up the driver. It might take a few seconds. Yeah, most probably yes. And yes, it does boot. So now I will start OBS and I will record the screen and then you will see GPU Z and full mark and so on and so on. We will check the measurements, everything. So I will continue there. Okay, now I switched on recording. As you can see here in GPU Z, we have the RTX 3060 Ti recognized. GDDR6 Samsung, 8 gig of memory. Everything looks okay. Let's check the sensors and I will start for mark on full HD resolution. Let's see the temperatures. I can already see 70 degrees. Seventy two still fine. No I can hear the fan is kicking in, it's already at two thousand RPM. Okay, the temperature is down. So one thing which was definitely a problem that the thermal paste was totally dried out, but really I could just peel it off in pieces. So now it looks like we have like a 10 degree deviation between the hotspot and GPU, which is absolutely perfect. And Fermark is running, running stable. This is no 100% GPU load. Overconsumption is also 100% TDP. So memory looks fine. I, the frequency, clock frequency, anomaly frequency is looking fine. Okay, so I will just do some testing and I will be back reporting if it if it's fine or not maybe i will also start volley 
Let's start Valino in, also in full HD resolution. And let's see if it's keeping up with the two parallel. Yeah, so it's running. I cannot see any artifacts. For sure that two together is too much for, for it. This is why you can see that Formark is so slow in the background, but it's, it's definitely not a problem. Here everything looks fine. One is at 75%, temperature is 70 degrees, the hotspot is 70 degrees, this is absolutely perfect. Okay guys, so I will just let it run for some time, for a few hours, and I will report back if everything is fine. Okay guys, so it's the next day, card is running strong. No issues whatsoever, I have been playing for a couple of hours yesterday evening still without any issues. I have rerun mats with 50 megabyte, which, which takes significantly longer, longer, with zero issues. Temperatures are super stable as you can see running uh, full mark on 2K resolution. So 1440p resolution, hotspot is like 69 degrees, Cart GPU temperature is 57 degrees. So everything is perfect and no issues whatsoever. So I would say most probably this card is fixed. I'm not sure if we can call it a real fix or it was a little bit boring to be honest. For sure I'm happy that I can get some of my money back. But... Uh, I was hoping for a little bit of fun. Okay guys, so that's all for this video. The next two cards will most probably come in two additional videos in the future, maybe within a week or two. I hope you found this video helpful, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I will see you next time. Bye!